Hey there guys, welcome back to the deck box in this week's Spell Spotlight. Um, this week, since Pro Tour just happened this weekend that just finished, um, I wanted to talk about some of the cards that I saw pop up a lot from Dark Ascension in the Pro Tour, in Standard, right? Um, which cards really, really shone? You know, which ones made it to the top eight? Which ones were played a lot? And, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Uh, the first card that we saw played a lot, and this was one that I wasn't sure, uh, I, I really didn't see this coming, maybe you have, um, was the Huntmaster of the Fells. I know it's a great card, I knew that already, but I didn't expect it, like, showing up as much as it did. Um, then again, that was because, you know, it was uh, played by Star City Games, their whole team pretty much were playing the same deck, I think. Um, but that uh, that wolf run ramp with the titans, but they dropped in the Huntmaster of the Fells because the idea is um, he can sit there and cover the whole gap in between you know zero to six mana where you're dropping um, dropping titans, right? He can fill that whole gap with his wolves, with his life gain, with it, with his burning your opponent. As long as he's not removed, if he stays there, he's going to keep hurting them, right? Because he'll switch back and forth depending on spells being played, and he covers that gap perfectly. We saw it in Paulo Vitor Dama de Rosa's games. Um, really vividly, uh, he showed that um, it was doing a great job for him, just doing work. The second card that I want to mention is actually only being mentioned because of John Finkel's deck. Um, it was freaking cool to see this card actually getting play, and that is one of the captains. And it's it's one of the captains that I never really went like, wow, that's the strongest captain, right? Because like, there's the you know there's the diagraph captain who's like fairly good. It gives you a good amount of value. Your zombie dies, and you get like you know let your opponent loses a life. It, it's good. It's good value. Um, but I mean, it limits you to playing just you know these these zombie types, right? Um, or you know your your vampire captain, who also I think is the most overpowered of all the captains. Um, Immerwolf is also very good, um, but I mean the one captain didn't really you know count up with the other ones was the Drog's Call captain. I don't know why that, that was, but I didn't really see him as like oh he's the best captain. You know, it gives him hexproof plus one plus one. I get that. That's good. Um, but then you think about it, and it's like there are some really really good spirits right now, right? Um, so you saw a play from him in uh, John Finkel's uh, Delver deck, which wasn't actually a Delver deck. That was kind of like a little secret that they had, um, figuring, oh, if we just tell people it's a Delver deck, they'll never see this coming. Um, and it, it was actually more of a, it was a tribal deck. It was a spirit deck with Delvers, um, and it worked great. And I think he could have been in the finals, but strangely enough, John Finkel, <laughs> like one of the best Magic players of all time, had a misplay, um, and you know, misplays are misplays, it's all debatable whether, you know, the calculation was correct, but I mean, he had blockers all day, he had about, like, I think eight guys on the battlefield at that point, flying, and he decided to just take two points from the wolf that the Huntmaster of the Fells created before it was taken off the board, and... Sorry, if you've, if you've seen this, skip ahead. But if you haven't, listen, this is crazy. Um, so he takes the two, he goes from 10 to 8, and then um, his opponent, uh, the guy who goes on to win the whole thing, whose name is slipping my mind right now, but I'll put it right here, boop, um, decided uh, he had three galvanic blasts in his hand. Um, he, he animated two Ink Moth Nexus. He had a Son of the Spirit... Uh, uh, Sphere of the Sun, sorry, on the battlefield, which he procs Metalcraft with the Galvanic Blasts, and then he plays them one after another. He plays one, John shrugs it off, no problem. He goes down the four. He plays a second. John goes, okay, um, negates it. Negates the second Galvanic Blast, and then the third one comes down for the win in the last game of their set, which would have put John Finkel into the finals. Um, if he had just blocked that one wolf, he would have won the game. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, well, here, here's another thing. The one card from, you know, from Metal, Gra Metal Craft times that made the Pro Tour insane. <laughs> Galvanic Blast, okay. Um, but no. So, Draws Call Captains were awesome. But, and you can agree or disagree with me on this one as well, um, the number one card, in my opinion from Dark Ascension, whether it be in draft, you know, any limited form, or in standard, 
the best card is for its mana cost and for what it does, Lingering Souls. A lot of people have said that as well. Uh, I'll, I'll stick with that. I think it's the best card, and we we saw it get played crazily by uh, by John Finkel, just dropping four guys, you know, for three uh, for sorry for five mana. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, um, really, really good. Four one one flyers for five mana is awesome, and uh, we saw it uh, get amped up by Drogskull Captain and just destroy. Um, so those were the cards that I thought were really, really cool in, in the Pro Tour, in Standard. And then on top of that, we had some uh, insight into what was going on with the drafting. And I thought the funniest thing, and, and you've, you know this too if you've drafted Dark Ascension, there's one common that just stands out in black um, because it destroys everything. Um, it's an amazing card. Um, drum roll please. Tragic Slip. It's amazing, um, and if you see that, you usually take it um, because it is so devastatingly awesome. Um, because that negative negative uh, negative one negative one next to never happens in limited. You're trading. If you want to get something dead, it's very possible. You kill something, and then you use the tragic flip to take out the biggest thing they have. If if by some crazy chance. You know, they had <laughs> they had um, used the binding blade and got it off and got a thirteen thirteen. You can kill it with tragic slip. Isn't that crazy? Um, but yeah, no, great card. Um, so limited. I think that dominates. But I mean, other than that, lingering souls is amazing. Um, so let me know what you thought about this. Uh, some of the things that I'm saying to you. If you agree, if you disagree, if it enrages you, if if you you know whatever, tell me. Let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. It was zombies versus mill yourself. My, my mill yourself, I like to call go mill yourself. And, uh, the video is, uh, right here. Bloop. You can click on that and, uh, go check that out. Um, if not, uh, this was the only video you're watching today. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And, uh, as always, why don't you, uh, go ahead and roll for choice. Okay, see ya.